Before we jump into this, Poland Ball has returned, this time as a brand new vinyl. So check out the description to makeship.com to get yours today. Another good day of spines for Russia. Oh, it's Kliningrad keeping a pretty close eye on sweaty Poland. Hey, who are you and what is you doing in my lands? Oh yeah, I heard Czechia says, ahoy. You are Czech land now. Finally, M have C. Oh, Russia doesn't look too happy about this. So there's been this huge meme recently that we need to give Kliningrad, the small disconnected territory that Russia owns, to Czechia. That or maybe the partition of Kliningrad between Czechia and Poland. I know that would kind of give them heart-shaped borders. There's even actually a website based off of this. After a successful referendum, 97.9% .9 of Kliningrad residents decided to join the Czech Republic. They're also renaming it. Czech government signs Kliningrad Annexation Act. Things to do, take a picture of the fisherman's village tower with the beautiful Czech flag, relax on the best beaches, visit this harbor, and the community has already begun making beautiful maps. I think this is gonna look great. But personally, this is the thing I'm most excited for. It's gonna be one of the greatest pipelines known to man. And since the Czechia Navy has literally never lost, so do good with this new coastal territory. Germany, Poland, and France in some sort of chemistry room. FR plus GR. Oh, please don't tell me they're making meth. Oh no, is that a drop of francium alkaline? Ew, it's all over the floor. Why is Poland evaporating? <sighs> good thing we have germanium acid with us. Love that there's an old French ball reflection on the floor. Wait a second, do I want to know what's reflected on the floor for Germany? Now just adding germanium to make substance that's of non Corrosive and neutral. Oh, perfect. The most neutral substance in the entire country ball periodic table. Wait a second, if they made Switzerland, aren't they missing one more element? Germany and France are definitely one, but I think they need a little bit of pasta as well. Just a tiny bit since 8.2% of their population speaks Italian. And I don't know what we're gonna do about the Romanish. Oh, here's the German ball reflecting as the Holy Roman Empire. It's not as bad as I thought it was gonna be. Mongus! So the joke here is that Switzerland is a combination of a lot of their surrounding nations neighboring countries. And then since Switzerland is always neutral, it's like a play on chemistry or something like that. This is made even better when realizing that francium is already a chemical element and so is germanium. Was this Switzerland's villain origin story? Surrender hotline? Uh, I'm conscript. Who wants to book my surrender? You commit any war crime? Nyeh. I arrive only day go. I can make book spot incursion region prison camp for tomorrow. Oh, coastal. How nice. How is amenities? Food, water, bed, medicine. Maybe this. You give bed? I have not been having bed. Sign me up! What is price? Am big stinky poo that's bad at fighting. Ukraina is best and I smell. <laughs> to show I am sorry, I gift you my tank. Sometimes you just gotta do what you gotta do. And this is actually real. Ukraine's new hotline encourages Russian soldiers to surrender. It's called the I Want to Live program. Bonus points if they bring equipment. Man, I wonder what happens if you bring a tank. This is a smart strategy by Ukraine. I wish I could surrender right now. Bog, bog, bog! It's turkey time. Happy Thanksgiving. But Canada, I've always thought the feast of the turkey is always celebrate on the last Thursday of November. Oh no, that's the American version of Thanksgiving. I celebrate the Canadian one. Let me tell you the story of the first Canadian Thanksgiving. The year is November 1791. Well boys, it looks like we're having Thanksgiving without America this year. <sighs> but Papa, it's so cold and dark out here and all the arid land is in America. And the French one is just like, what the heck is Thanksgiving? This is Quebec. Well, I guess we gotta do it a month earlier, maybe early October of next year. Meanwhile, early October of the next year. I'm not changing the dates again. And that's pretty much how Canada got their own version of Thanksgiving and why it's celebrated at that time, I guess. Love that of all the balls that could have asked Canada about Thanksgiving, you chose turkey. The average high temp and average low temp across this country is a lot better in October than it would be in November. The average daytime high temperature across the entire country is negative three Celsius in November? That seems like a pretty crazy difference. So technically there are probably some people out there that get to celebrate two Thanksgivings. How lucky. Welcome to a very British quiz show. Tonight's game is called Guess the Chart. Here we have the Pound or the Tory party polls. Can you guess which it is? Um, both? Be sure to lock your answers in and time. The right answer is... Oh, I did do it! Wow, that's kind of amazing. Of the little element of Scotland becoming a tumor on the UK ball. This is supposed to signify their independence coming up soon. So the pound, or the British currency, or the Tory, which is a political party, also British. Apparently not doing too good. You can see as of recently in the national poll average, um, the blue is going way down and the Labour Party going way up. Also, as of recently, the British pound has kind of rebounded. Poor UK ball. <laughs> why is the USA looking at a map of the Nord Stream pipeline? Also, why does this map have uh, interesting labels for countries? <laughs> Nord VPN. Wait, 
This is not sponsored. No. What the frick? So I guess, unfortunately for America, they weren't the only ones with an attack plan for this pipeline. Russia was doing it too. And maybe Denmark as well? What is this? The Nord Stream Pipeline is a pair of offshore natural gas pipelines in Europe that run under the Baltic Sea from Russia to Germany. A lot of people assume there was some sort of sabotage that took place. One of these countries is sus. We should make all the country leaders play a game of Among Us. That's how we'll figure it out. The world has already called an emergency meeting. Oh, daddy, I've been quite the good boy recently. Recently. May I ask for my independence? Alrighty, old bean. Time to show just how unique I am, says Canada, as they talk about all the things they're about to legalize now and decriminalize stuff. They're excited for that too. Hey, you oofed my children. Take it up with the Pope, dude. That was like the old me, man. Something, something angry French noises. Uh, we really missed you on the family vacation to Iraq. Even Australia was there. Nah, man, that conflict was like bogus dude invest more in nato quit slacking nato uh, need another taco at once <laughs> you talk a big game about caring for the environment but you produce much greenhouse gas that's not green <laughs> this gas is green <laughs> he used to be so awesome what happened he was never the same after the sum oh yeah i feel like we've all had a friend just like this canada ball so sad to see their downfall uh so the sum or sum i don't know if i'm pronouncing that right is referring to this battle this was during world war one and it was pretty bad canada has changed a lot since their independence, that's for sure. Oh, it's because they're the middle child. Well, if America's the oldest child, who's the youngest? Brunei in 1984? Didn't expect that one. Hey, Poland, do you know where first fry was fried in? Um, in Belgium? Non in Greece. Hon, 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 hon. Hope you enjoy your hot, greasy fries, says Belgium behind this greasy fry stand. And look at these customers Denmark, Luxembourg, Bulgaria. Oh, it's Greece literally being cooked with the fries. I see. This is Sparta. Is Greece gonna kick one of the fries down like a massive hole or just like down off the side of the wooden stand? Man, Belgium just made the best things waffles and fries. Let's also not forget about chocolate and beer. How are they so good at food? What's the deal with that? Oh, it's Iran's morality police as they stand at what's going on over here. Yeah, but aren't all police morality police in a way? I guess, but Iran's morality police is a separate police force. So you're telling me Iran has a police force to enforce the law and a totally separate force that punishes them for behaving badly? What an idiot. Always two steps behind. I combined the two like 80 years ago. Yes, the US has definitely evolved past them. So this is obviously referring to all the chaos that is happening in this country and the morality police over there. A lot of that stuff still taking place. Oh my god, they've been stabbed in the kidney. Send an ambulance. Okay, sure. I'm not gonna be able to do this Welsh accent. Calm down, ye. Just need to know what town you're in. Welcome to a uh, long Welsh town name. Uh, you know what? I think I'm fine. I'd rather just bleed out than attempt to pronounce this. I understand where he's coming from. I believe Wales still has the longest town name on earth with whatever the hell this is. And Wales actually just has a lot of strange town names in general. There's just an article of Wales and their 13 longest town names or more unique town names in general. That's how infamous this stuff is over there. So if you ever have a Welsh emergency, pray you don't have to tell the dispatcher where you are. It's spring and this French ball wants to cut the queen's head off. It's summer and the US is talking to some aliens. The sun is so hot, I'm gonna nuke it. Oh, the aliens are probably trying to get him to stop. It's fall and Byzantium is about to fall. And finally, it's winter. And now we have really cold country balls all just Probably not happy about it. Well, Canada is okay with it. They're used to the snow. Greenland, not as happy since they have to be next to Iceland and they tend to have a volcano just randomly erupt. All the ash gets sent over to Greenland. This is the four seasons in the country ball universe. As you can see, some balls thrive, others not so much during certain parts of the year. The four seasons. <laughs> Ukraine calling. Friend, I see you called just in time. Exactly. How is gift going? When is planned? It was fire. Could say Russia's going to be bitter about it. Here they are crying about their broken bridge. But what about you? After all, if it wasn't for your help, none of this would have happened. Yeah, because Europe's longest bridge is mine again. Oh, this was all part of Portugal's evil plan, wasn't it? And the EU's now just looking on in horror. Do know what that means, right, Yui? Portugal can into relevance. Where do we go wrong with them? Man, this is making a whole lot more sense now. Portugal was just trying to get to that number one spot in the bridge community. It is the Vasco da Gama Bridge, and it barely beats out Germany now by about 300 meters. That's not barely, that's a pretty good amount. Portugal also has the third largest bridge in Europe, and this thing looks massive. How do we even construct 
bridges like this. Oh, and it's built to connect through this bay, which is really huge. I forget to look at, like, bays in general, because I'm always looking at, like, world maps, like, way zoomed out perspectives. Now, unfortunately for Portugal, though, they are nowhere near the longest bridge in the world. Over 150,000 meters long. China actually has four out of the top six bridges, although Taiwan is getting really close in second place. You gotta scroll all the way down here to find that Portuguese bridge, which, there, there it is. But hey, Portugal built that in 1998. Who knows what they could do if they built one right now? They should just make a massive bridge connecting their mainland to all these islands. Because that's possible. Ah, uh, they were the secret supplier. All these country balls saying mean things about the USA. Is this how I want the world to see me? Not really. Now we have all these country balls saying mean things about China. Then maybe... Well, that's out too. Why use just one? Why not both? USA with a China mask on, but I don't think that's working with these balls either. But what if I flip them around? Now China with the USA mask on, but yeah, still not going very well. Who am I then? What am I supposed to be? This ball is literally going through an existential crisis. It's gonna turn into the Joker at any moment. Ah, uh, so sadly, this is this person's experience as both nationalities, which they aren't being accepted on either side. This depressing stuff like this is still happening. Both sides making bad jokes. We don't need this to end. And big thanks to why am I doing $20 this? $20 is a lot, a Drew. A fat Norwal. Drew's Argentinian Bring grandpa. Chris3773. Danny, thy Good old I stole Drew's pet Jack dog. Bruni. Luxembourg. Nation Matt at risk. Dortman. Five, six, Fresh ten. animations. E. Ron J. Rye. The Pie. The Polish-Lithuanian Commonwealth. The Mexican Commonwealth. 760. Twicken. Hamsen. Zany Boy. 